Hello everyone and welcome to another Fallout 76 camp build video. Today I am going to show you how to build this cliffside bridge camp. I'm not sure exactly what to call it. I'll figure it out later. But anyways, yeah, so this is a thing that exists in the world already, this bridge. And I just, I saw this and I was like, man, that'd be a really good place to build a camp. So I did, and here it is. Um, it's not exactly what I envisioned, but it is the best I could do in the, uh, the spot. It's really hard to build here. And um, I'm hoping that if you guys want to build here too, you can duplicate this. I'll try to make it as uh, easy as possible. It's It was not easy to build. I think I rebuilt this like <laughs> four or five times before I finally got it the way I wanted it. I wanted to build on both sides. And the camp boundary is just barely big enough to encompass both sides of this bridge and however the height is not in order to build on both sides i had to put my camp unit right down here under the bridge and this area up here is above the build limit so couldn't build on this side i, I could build down here a little bit like right here but I couldn't put a roof on it, the, the building that I built there, and I couldn't build up here. So I decided to just build on the one side and call it good. Um, now <clears throat> there's an idea to, to get two camps side by side here, like one person puts the very edge of theirs off the edge of the cliff here, and the other person puts the very edge of theirs off that cliff, but I'm not sure if that's far enough away that they might still be too close together. <clears throat> I don't know. It might be worth trying sometime. I I suggested to Paul over at the school zone that he should do a collaboration with me and he seemed interested. So um, go over there and give him a kick in the pants and uh, <laughs> so he can get on that with me. Anyways, here, here, this area here is the, um, well, it was already here, this, this thing. I, I just added a few pieces of furniture. Um, this this was the only this chair was the only thing here. I added everything else, um, and the rugs were here already. And um, looks like some uh, people had a had a little shop here at one time. But yeah, it's cool because there's this flag and this sale sign and stuff. You can't build those things, and so it's kind of cool that I can incorporate them into my build. And I added this stuff here. And um, this is my shop garage that I, I keep open for passers-by to come in and take advantage of the facilities. So, you know, I've got a, I've got a bed in here, a cooking pot, uh, you know, all, this, all the uh, crafting benches except power armor because I don't actually have that plan yet. And I got a few, yeah, stash boxes. This this is a stash box, and this is a stash box, so. <clears throat> yeah, anyway, that's, I keep this unlocked. I like to lock my, my door when I'm at my camp, when I'm inside my house doing stuff, because uh, not to keep players out, to keep ghouls and other things out, because they can come and open your door. And I've been attacked inside my house by ghouls and scorched before and I just don't like it. Don't like being surprised in my own camp, you know what I mean? Anyway, so I keep my, my house door locked. I, I I unlock it when I leave so that if a player comes by, uh, they can go in. But sometimes I forget. So I like to have a an alternative place for them to access if they do come by. Anyway, so here's um, my house. And I just have this little entryway up here, and then down here is my living quarters. I have a workshop in here as well, just because. Why not? I had the build budget for it, so there. <laughs> and I also have, I this is the kitchen, and I like to use the chemistry bench as a kitchen counter. It has a sink, creepy sink, but a sink nonetheless. And it kind of just, I don't know, it fits in really well with the kitchen, the cooking stove, they, they match, they're the same height, and they're the same ugliness, so they kind of go good together, I think. And anyway, I'm back here, I've got the bedroom, 
and a uh, little kind of office -y area. This desk is actually a stash box. And a little living area. Yeah. So, and it's got uh, pretty good views. Oops. There's the Nuka Cola plant. Oh, yeah. That's right. I was going to show you where we are on the map. We are here. We're next right close to the nuka cola plant and the poseidon energy plants right between them you just if you go along this road here you'll see the bridge off off to the side um it doesn't it doesn't uh you can't see it until you're almost right on top of it it doesn't actually like load in until you're almost right here so it's yeah <clears throat> There's some containers, some washer dryer things down there that have loot that respawns regularly. Anyway, so I just thought it was kind of a really cool little spot. And it would make a really good spot for a trader type of character too, because there's already a sale sign set up here. And if, you know, when they get player vendor machines out, when those come out, because they are being, they're going to come out soon, they've announced it. But as of the making of this video, they aren't out yet. But when they are, it, this would make a good location to build a base for a trader because it's got a sale sign. And you can see the sale sign from the other side of the bridge, too. And this is a pretty um, well-trafficked area. While I was building this, I had three people come by and, and just on the same server. Three people came by on the same server. They just... They were nice. They, you know, didn't bother me. They, well, <laughs> other than wanting to help. <laughs> you know, I'm like, hey, get out of here. I'm making a video. <laughs> but anyway, they didn't, they, they didn't try to hurt me or anything. So, yeah, like you could put a, a vendor thing here or over here and just, you know, sell your stuff here. So, anyway, that, I thought that was cool. But anyways, you guys, the, the only problem with this bridge is that there are two holes in it that you have to jump over, so... And, and there's a spot here that you get stuck, so you gotta jump. But whatever, it's not a big deal. Anyway, you guys, what do you think? Well, let's. Uh, I'll show you how to build this, and hopefully you guys can duplicate it. Because, you know, let me tell you, it's not the easiest thing to do. But if you have, if you have the first foundation in the right spot, then the rest will fall into place. So. Let's get on with it and I'll show you how to do this. Okay, so you're going to want to put your camp about right here, just above this one rock under the bridge. Uh, you can put it anywhere, really. I mean, you can put it directly at the base of this cliff if you want, but just don't put it any further out from the rock. Um, because otherwise then there won't be enough of the border on that side to uh, encompass the entire thing because at the moment my the border down there well I'll show you <laughs> it's right here and this is this is sufficient for what we what we need um, I originally had that place there because I wanted to build on the other side as well you can kind of see the border up on the other side but it didn't work out so that's why it's right there um, if you do want to try to build on the other side as well, both sides, uh, just for kicks, um, put your, put, put it like right on top of this rock right here, because then you get the most height upon that side. It's like I said, it, it doesn't, um, it doesn't let you build up there much because it's not, you, you would have to build a kind of down on the side of the cliff. And it's really hard because there's not a lot of places to place things down there. Um, putting it up any further um, towards this side of the cliff will make it so there's not enough room on that side to build. It's it's kind of a tricky, uh, tricky situation. Anyways, here's the area without um, the house in it. And so you can see all of the... I had added all that stuff. And so this is where we're going to start. Why does this always happen in my videos? <laughs> has it happened in every single one? I think it has. Anyways. <clears throat> okay. Well, when you first arrive, there will be a traffic cone here. Just kick it Attention, off. Attention, citizens. 
Nuclear strike imminent. Otherwise, it will get in the way. Please exit the area at your earliest convenience. Or it will, uh, you know, not let you. Please. Thank you for your cooperation. So we're going to start on this side first. And you're going to want to place this first floor piece parallel with the existing wall that's here. And now you can put it up. You can put it up pretty close here, like this, and that's where I originally wanted to place it. But the post, the fence is right there, and it'll block the door, and you won't be able to get in. So you'll have to put it out here a little bit. And I'm gonna wanna, you wanna put it down as low as it can go, approximately, maybe a little bit more up like that, and then. As close to the, um, close to this existing wall as you can get it. It's, well, maybe not as close as you can get it. Like, you can get it this close. Don't do that or the rest won't work. So you're going to want to get it fairly close. Just not all the way up to it. And I'll show you why in a minute. So about right there, um, sort of... Now, you guys, the placement for this is crucial, okay? Like, you gotta put it in the right place or the rest won't work, um, or it won't, or you'll have just trouble. So, you can kind of see how the ledge of this rock, the edge of this rock, kind of slopes upward until you get to these two sort of points. Kind of put it right there. You can see these, this point here and this point here when you're just getting to the edge of those points where they start that's where you're going to want to kind of line it up with okay and then once we uh do that now it'll be floating but it's not going to look floating in the end okay i don't like floating you guys know that we're not going to have floaty things so now we're going to put a stair here and then put a foundation on the stair like so now this is the part that we're going to test we're, we're, there's a part we're going to test first before we do anything else and you should do it as well and that is bringing um these this way and you should be able to place, come on, get down. You should be able to place a floor here. Get down. And if you can't, you're going to have to redo the top part. Yeah, see, it's not letting me place a floor here. Um, not where it's trying to place it up there, but I don't want to place it up there, I want to place it down here. So since it's not working, you have to re- well, I guess you have to take those off, but you got to reposition this top piece just a little bit. Uh, maybe move it out a little bit. Just try that, moving it out just a tiny bit. And then doing it again. I guess I'm going to store that um, you, you should eventually get it to go in if you just keep tweaking it keep working at it maybe try sticking a piece out here. Let's, let's try that oh and another thing you should be able to get two pieces out here and if it doesn't place you gotta try it again so this is why you should place these foundations before you do anything else and so you might have to reposition this first one a few times. So just move it another little, you know, couple inches. Try again. There, that's better. There it goes. There it goes. Now, you're going to also want to make sure that you can snap two floors out here. There. Got it. See, it will eventually work. But before you do anything else, we got to test one more thing. Now, I built, I originally built this with the barn pieces because I just thought it looked good on the side of the cliff. It just popped on the side of the cliff really nice. Um, the first time I, I 
<laughs> so like I said, I built this four times. The first time I built it, and like the first three times I built it, I built it with the regular wood pieces. But they just sort of blended with the cliff, and it just wasn't as impressive. This made it stand out, and I really liked it. So you should be able to snap a board right here, and it's not snapping. And so that's a problem. I know why it's not. There's a rock here sticking out. So I'm going to have to move this out a little bit so that the rock doesn't stick out. It shouldn't be too hard. That's why I said you don't want to get it as close as you can get it. You want it to be close, but not too close, or your the rock will stick out. That's that's what I was um, going to point out earlier when I said I'll, I'll show you why in a minute. That was the, that was the thing I was going to show you. You just want to make sure that that rock isn't sticking out, and you can always come down and look. So if that rock is sticking out even a little bit, it's going to make a problem for you. So I should have checked it before, but I forgot to. And it's 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 finicky. It's it's really hard to get it to go out farther than that because it's it doesn't want to. So you just kind of gotta move it around. Move it around. Sometimes and maybe if you push it back this way, it'll be far enough away from the rock. It's not the most ideal thing in the world, for sure. Let's see. Nope, it's too far into the rock. Try that. Hmm, probably still not good enough. I can't remember what it was supposed to look like with the rock. Another way is to just um, keep putting the foundations in and the wall and trying it until something happens. <laughs> until it fits. Because it's hard to tell just by, look just by looking at it. And so you might have to redo it a few times before you actually get it perfect, but that is the nature of building in this game, for sure. Ah, come on. There it goes. There! So, if you get a wall, if you get a, a, the wall snapping in right there, and you have to get two foundations further out right here. And it looks like it's gonna work. There! Okay, you guys, finally got it done. And then we're also going to put two foundations on this side. So when you come down from the stairs, you're going to have two, then two, and a little jog over the stairs. Well, you're going to be building one over well you know like i did okay so then we're gonna move the stairs over here and we also have to put a foundation right down here like so and then um i'm going to put a floor here and then we can put the rest of the walls on And I put um, windows on this side because I think it just looks better if you've got windows. And then you can also see out, see the view. Um, on this side, we're not going to have windows because this side is going to be half walls. But I did have a window here. Like 
so. We'll go up top. And we will have... I don't think I have a boost here. And this is going to be the door. And then I'm going to put half walls up top. Half wall there as well. Okay. Like this. At least I think I put half walls up there. Did I? Yes. Yes, I did. I believe I did. <laughs> trying just to remember this stuff. Okay. Now <clears throat> let's put the, uh, the little uh, roof support things here. Yeah. And here. Oh, you know what? This is supposed to be a half wall. Sorry, you guys. I know, I know, it's hard to follow along when somebody's not doing it right. <laughs> Anyways. Um, which means this also has to be a half wall. But it is hard to remember um, the order of things. When you built it once and then you have to take it apart to do the video, it's, it's kind of hard to remember where all the pieces go, especially when it's such a complicated piece, you know, it's such a complicated build. I'm gonna start putting the roofs on. them all the way across this way. Get a little stuck on. Oh, <laughs> stuck on the wall. Okay, then all the way across this side. Okay, and then almost forgot the uh, the support ones here and um, then oh yeah up there as well then we can put a half wall right here getting here getting here it's looking good and for this we are going to use the tower piece which is under this yeah right here because I thought it just gave it a little bit of extra um, I don't know interest an interesting you know look to it instead of just another peak roof all right, now <clears throat> that piece down there, it does look like it's floating, but that's okay. I mean, you can look, I think I had it higher than last time because when I, um, when I built it originally, this piece right here wasn't floating. So you do want to get it down as low as you can get it to go. But for this part, I'm going to put one of these slanted ramps right here and it'll, and it should just snap right in then it kind of makes it look like it's supporting that floating bit, right? Here, it's, it's, it looks better from up here. <laughs> now, again, um, that part there wasn't floating at all in my original build because I had the foundations just a little bit lower. The first foundation was just a little bit lower. so. That's how you can avoid that. Just put this first foundation a tiny bit lower than this and it should be good. All right. And um, I also had, let me see. I also had a, a turret stand right here. 
I don't usually put turrets in my builds, but I had extra build budget left over once I had completely decorated it. So I just decided, why not, right? And I like to use, for this, I used the white door. I think I had the one with the windows. Because I think it looks good with the white trim and everything. Okay, so that is the main building. That is it. That's the gist of it. That is the main building. And then we'll do this one. And, it, and again, knock the, the cone off. There it goes. <clears throat> knock the cone off or it's going to get in the way of your building. Now, this other one is also going to be a little bit tricky to place. Just because... Because there's a tree here and there's a fence. Now the tree will bulldoze away. And it, it did originally when I first built this. It bulldozed away. But when I logged back in the next day it was back. And because my building wasn't actually touching it. And it, I think it actually looked kind of nice having the tree um, right in front of the building. So I, I just left it there. But there's a fence here that you can't build on. So... Yeah, it's going to be a little bit tricky placing this. See, the tree bulldozes away. But likely, if it bulldozes away when you build, it will be back next time you log in, because it was for me. Now, just a, a thing I'm going to show you guys before I build this actual part. See, as you can see, here, let me get up all the way here. As you can see, the building isn't parallel with the bridge. It is parallel with the existing structure up there. The the um, the cliff curbs right here. It's not straight. So while the bridge goes straight off of the piece of cliff that it's on, it's not uh, parallel with this part. And if you build your structure parallel with the bridge, it will stick too far off the edge of that cliff and you won't be able to place the foundations. That's why I I didn't have it parallel with the bridge to begin with. Um, I originally tried to build it parallel with the bridge because I actually wanted to build um, like a like a sort of an, a tower room thingy above the bridge and a building on both sides and crossing over above the bridge so that you have to walk under it to, I thought that would be really cool, but it just didn't work with placement and all that. So to make it look okay on the other side, to make it look okay when you're just looking down the bridge at it, it's better to have this one skewed off at a slight angle as well instead of lining it up with this piece. Now I originally built it so that it lined up with line parallel with this sort of log thing sticking out. I had it like right there. But as you can see it's not parallel with the bridge. But it's facing the same direction as this house. And it looked funny to have the bridge coming off at an odd angle from the house. It's, it's hard to tell when there's not an entire um, building there. But it looked funny. So, now you don't have to do this this way, but I'm going to do it this way. Just angle your foundation out a little bit away from the bridge. Like, maybe like that. Then it'll look like you did it on purpose. <laughs> It'll look like it's not supposed to be lined up on purpose. And you're going to want to put the corner um, just about right on top of this corner of this little step right here. Okay? I don't know if all that I just said made sense, but I hope you guys get it. I hope you guys understand it. Now, you do have to make sure that you don't skew it off too much that you can't actually place the... You should be able to place four more here to square. If you skew it off too much at an angle, you're going to get into this um, corner here a lot. So just watch out for that. It might not place if you skew it off too much. 
Now I like to I like to come over and stand back and look. Let's see how it looks. Like I might even skew it off just even a little bit more than it is. But you know, for the sake of this video, I'm going to just keep it like that. Okay. Now the first part's gonna be a porch. And this this is a very basic um, four by four structure right here. Just got the door, and then I had. I, I actually um did put quite a few windows in this one. Um, I think I had a window here, and now I can't remember actually what I did, but. Just, just put some windows. I I like them. They look good. You guys can do whatever you want. <laughs> I did have some solid pieces, so there. Okay, that that's that's it. This is the most simple part of this entire build. Is this this part? Now the tree will poke through your wall a little bit up at the top, but it's not really very noticeable. So, and each time you log in, the branches will be slightly different. That's just the way they are. Um, so, sometimes it will be poking in more than others. Like, I've, I've, lo I've logged in before where the trees were barely, the branches were barely poking through at all. And some where they were poking through quite a bit. Like, this is uh, pretty, pretty much the extent of it is, like, not, not really that much. <clears throat> and it's up so high that you don't really notice it when you're just in here because it's above your your normal viewing range anyway that is basically all for the for this and I and of course I put a white door here as well and then for the uh, I put a railing right here so that we don't fall off just the one because the uh, little flat uh, the little two two peat the little half size ones won't snap to the foundations for some weird reason they won't snap to foundations so you can I would like to put one right there but you can't um, so anyways you could put one here I suppose because you can get up right here but I didn't Anyway, you guys, that is it. That is the build. Um, oh, wait. Oh, it's not the build. Oh, I forgot. Um, we need to put ramps down here. Now, these ones are a little bit trickier to place because... Ugh, ow. <laughs> um, because they, they don't uh, snap. They're, um, they're down too low to snap, so you're going to want to just get it as close as you can. About like that. Get it so that it's not floating. Let me lower it a little bit. So these, um, might not lower. doesn't really want to. Oops. Oh, come on. doesn't want to lower. It wants to stay popped up just like that, but that's okay. It's it's not that bad, and you, to be honest, you're never going to be down here. Not really. I mean, unless you fall through the hole in the bridge, which, you know, will happen. Um, but if you're up here, it doesn't really look like it's floating. It's, it's really kind of hard to tell if those are floating from up top. So... Um, anyways, you are going to want to line this up, though, and I'm going to take that off so I can do it. So, you want it to be straight, and it's easiest to do it if you come up top. Make sure you're not selecting the piece that you're standing on, and it's easier to line them up and get it as close as you can. Oh, turns red. There. And getting it as close as you can is also going to make it look like it's not as floating as much. And you want to get it centered as well. Because then you're going to snap on 
um, the, the other one. The other one will snap. It should. There it goes. And you don't really need one on this side because um, it's touching here. And that one kind of looks like it's being supported by the other one. Because I don't think one will go in right here. I tried... Oh, it will this time. So you can put one there if you want. Um, the first time I built it, one wouldn't snap in. It is problematic. There's a sign right here on this log that you can't move. And if you build it too far out, it will um, collide with that sign. So, Okay. And let's put the uh, railing back. Okay. Now we'll come back here and take a look so you guys can see what it looks like. I think the ramps just make it look uh, a little better so it's not floating. So it doesn't look like it's floating so much. And uh, yeah, I just really like the, uh, the look of it. I think it looks really cool. So now I didn't make a generator room for this one because my original placement of the camp unit didn't allow for some room back here, but I wanted to put a foundation um, like right here and make a little generator room off the side just to protect it from mole rats and whatnot because they will spawn right here. I've had some mole rats attacking my generator. So I put, where I put my generator, um, I just stuck a generator right here on this rock. Um, the only thing I have here at the moment was lights, so I didn't need a big generator. But if you want to, you can put a generator back here. and um, Or you can put it back here. It depends on where you put your um, camp unit. I couldn't build one back here because I didn't have enough room. Um, I actually just moved it since then. And because I, I I could barely like fit through here, it was closer to right here. I have moved it because that's how I um, get um, my camp to go away quickly. I just move it. Okay, place already. The leg is ridiculous. Wow. Okay, it's not letting me place it. <laughs> I've never experienced that before. It will not place a generator. Even though it's in my... It's stored. It's a stored generator. And it's not letting me place. Huh. Oh well, I can show you how to do the... How to do the, the wiring without the generator. So this is what I did. And it's not the prettiest thing in the world. I don't like my wiring to show. So you can wire your house up however you want. But if you want to do it so that it doesn't show so much from the front of your house. Um, I, so I put the generator right there. And then I put a uh, conduit right here. Just not going to let me place a conduit either. Okay, you guys, I don't know what, what is the deal. I've never had that happen before where I couldn't place a conduit. Well, anyways, so oh, weird. That little piece of rock that's sticking out right there um, wasn't there last time I built this. You could see through there right there. See how it's hollow, the rock? That little part that's sort of blurry wasn't there before. That's weird. Anyway, um... So I put a conduit here, and then I put another one here, I wired those up. Then um, I put a conduit on a rug, and if you put a conduit on a rug and then attach the wire, you can move the rug to a different location, and it will move the wire. It's sort of like the poor man's version of the wire glitch from Fallout 4. So what I did then was I put the rug down here, right on the edge of this. And it glitched the wire through the ground, and it will light up this end of the house. And then, um, you 
Now you can only have one glitched wire per conduit. At least that's what I've discovered so far. If you if you try to glitch two condu two wires, two separate wires to the same conduit, it doesn't work. Um, so um, I made another conduit to come off. What? That was the weirdest thing I have ever seen. <laughs> what? I did not scrap those. What is up with that? So I did finally build them. Okay then. And for some reason it scrapped the wall and the foundation. Okay, well you guys just saw something that I've never seen before. I don't know if you've ever seen that happen before. Look, now I can't place the object down. Why not? Oh my gosh, what a weirdness. <laughs> that was weird. Okay. Um, it ex intersects with an existing object, but it didn't when I originally placed it. Oh my gosh, that is so weird. Oh well, anyways. So anyway, I put a glitched wire down there. And then I put another one up here. Right there next to um, this. And then I was able to um, put... So then that would light up this end. And then I glitched a wire from this one down to here. And I put... A rug with a conduit on it right down there and that <sighs> gets stuck on the walls sometimes. It's really annoying. Okay, there. And that would light up this end of the house because for some reason it wouldn't light up both ends. Anyway, so that's what you can do with this one if you don't want your conduits to be seen. Oh, no wait, I didn't put it over there. I didn't put it over on that side. I put it, yeah, it was just this one down here. And the one on the back. The back, if you put it... Okay, if you put it on the floor down here, it's not going to light up any lights that you put up on the ceiling, so you will have to put a conduit up here as well. I'm sorry I can't show you actually the conduits, because the things kind of bugging out but anyway <laughs> that is basically how how to do it and um i'm sorry if that wasn't um clear enough um i would put it back and do it the right way but it's not wanting to go in so i'm gonna have to fiddle with that some more and there we have it ladies and gentlemen what do you think i i really like this build i really like this location um, I think it looks kind of cool incorporating this uh, suspension bridge like this. And so anyways, you guys, tell me what you think. Tell me down in the comments. Now, it's not the most, like, it's not a profitable build. It doesn't give you resources or anything like that. You could put some, you know, water purifiers in the back or whatever. You could, um, I didn't have my camp placed in the right spot because I was trying to build on both sides and so that's why my camp is like down there but you could place it so that your camp um the edge of your camp boundary comes to here and most of it is on that side and then you could have actually um some stuff back here you know you could put a garden back here you could put um your water purifiers back here so yeah it, it's it's not um it's not easy to get through here you can you could walk through right here i suppose but otherwise you'd have to jump and it's um hard to jump over this unless you have a marsupial but um but anyway there you go and it looks like i'm losing my light so i will leave the video right here you guys and let me know what you think down in the comments what do you think of this build do you like it is there anything you would have done differently um if you guys build here, and if you manage to build on both sides, I would love to see screenshots of that. So go on over to my Discord server, and you can share them on there. I would love to see them. Did 
I just hear something coming up behind me? I guess not. <laughs> anyway, I would love to see them over there. And if you have an awesome camp that you would like me to feature in a video on my channel, you can enter it um, by by posting screenshots over on my Discord server. There's a special thread just for it over there. It's called uh, Camp Tours Entries. And now I'm looking for people who have built, um, you know, different camps, not just plain old uh, simple camps that anybody builds. I want, I'm looking for camps that would be really interesting for the viewer to see, like this one, you know, something that's a little different, either built in an interesting location or you use some special building techniques to make something that most people don't know about, or if you just have even a regular house that's done really nice and is nicely decorated and stuff, that's, that's, um, I'm looking for that too. So. So go over to my Discord server and check it out. I have the links down. The link for that is down in the description. And I hope to see you guys over there. Stick around and chat and stuff too. I'm pretty frequent over there. I, look, I, I'm, I post there every day. So yeah. Anyway, you guys, that is the end of this video. And I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, remember to play safe, play nice, and have fun. Bye, guys.